Here's our local Doppler radar. For tonight, rain showers early, becoming a steady light rain overnight. Low, 51. Winds east-southeast at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Chance of rain, 70%. And on Tuesday, windy with scattered thunderstorms. High, 79. Winds south-southwest at 20 to 30 miles per hour. Chance of rain, 60%. And Tuesday night, late night thunderstorms, low 63, chance of rain 40%. The week ahead. You're watching the Weather Channel. All right, breaking news right now. Oklahoma City threatened by a tornado. This is an aerial view of the city right now as a tornado warning is in effect for your city. Welcome back to PM Edition. As we continue to follow these tornadic storms, we want to take it over to the newsroom right now where Jim Cantori, mm -hmm. our storm tracker, is watching these cells on radar and several cells right now with tornado warnings on them and even tornadoes being reported within many of those, Jim. Yeah, we got over about 100 miles of danger on I-35 points west here, guys. We're watching, including two big cities, Wichita and Kansas City and everything in between. Let's uh, take into the Oklahoma City area right now. John Urban tells me that the observation in Oklahoma City at the airport actually seeing the tornado guys on the observation there's been a tornado sighted uh southwest of the city especially in the canadian county area so that's the cell up around yukon that will continue to push off toward the east at about 50 miles an hour but there are other supercells to the south and to the north of that could, that could easily rotate as well so guys be careful impressive wise from a radar perspective this cell here near ponca city probably looks most impressive next to the wichita cell watch out around the marland area there's been a tornado a large tornado on the ground near red rock uh so, guys, again, be on the lookout as this continues to track off toward Fairfax and also, again, up toward Wichita. One more radar here, guys, up toward Wichita. Here comes this cell wrapped up. It's not looking as impressive as it was, but still, uh, these things cycle through. We saw that earlier, and that's probably going to be the case here. We've got a large tornado around six miles southeast of Cheney. Uh, emergency vehicles, as Mike was mentioning, on their way north on Interstate 35. Let's see if we can get an update from Mike, who's in Bremen, just across the Oklahoma line, or excuse me, the Kansas line in Oklahoma. Mike, what's the latest from Bremen? Well, we have not been into the town, but as you mentioned, we've seen emergency vehicles heading up 35. When we saw the tornado about 30 minutes ago, it was moving uh, in that direction off in that sky. And we'll show it to you now on tape. We got it on tape. We weren't able to get out live because we have so much wind here. We had to put the dish down. We didn't want to lose the dish. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to broadcast the rest of the evening. But what we saw in 35 here, looking in this direction, that is northbound again. And we're a few miles this side of the Oklahoma-Kansas line in Oklahoma. It's a traffic. When they saw that tornado, they just stopped. I mean, they just threw their brakes on. Everybody backed up and just watched that twister cross Interstate 35. And since then, we've heard the sirens, the emergency vehicles heading out of the town, heading north up I-35. We've had the report of damage from the uh, weather ch uh, National Weather Service chat, but we don't know how bad the damage is. The report was a large tornado. From this vantage point, from a few miles away, Jim, it didn't look that large. It was certainly not a huge wedge tornado. But nonetheless, there has been damage, and hopefully it's been kept to a minimum. Jim?
All right, Mike, we appreciate that. Again, uh, the cell that Mike was watching continues to pull north, uh, again, around the Arkansas City area, points northeast. But it is this cell here just to the southwest of Wa uh, Goddard. You see that little triangle right there? That's the tornado vortex signature. We have had a tornado uh, reported on the ground with this already as it continues to pull on off toward the north and east. Again, Wichita, you're under a tornado warning right now. Areas, again, uh, within the city limits, both north and south, you're going to be into this. So Goddard, uh, Wichita proper as well, Mays down toward Clearwater. You all need to be taking cover with this storm. Uh, also down toward Noble County as well, large tornado on the ground heading east of Red Rock right now. And also 60 miles south of Oklahoma City, tornado on the ground. Kim and Nick. Our plate is full tonight. Back to you. Really it sure is. is. And a new tornado watch in effect, too, for folks in northwest Arkansas, southeastern Kansas, southwest Missouri, eastern Oklahoma. This is a particularly dangerous situation as well. That tornado watch in effect until midnight. Of course, these uh, tornadoes erupting in the Vortex 2 domain. That's why Mike Bettis and Dr. Greg Forbes are out there today. A very active day. They are on the move now. Let's check in with them. Mike, where are you headed at this point? I think they're having some technical difficulties at this moment. And Nick, you, Nick, you got us? Oh, yeah, we got you, Mike. Good. Okay, very good. We're, uh, we're definitely going to make a play with Vortex 2 on that storm that's coming through Oklahoma City. We've been listening to the scanner. Actually, uh, Sky One weather spotters reporting a tornado. As Jim was mentioning, uh, the observation in Oklahoma City has reported a tornado. Dr. Forbes with us here. Dr. Forbes, looks like things, especially on the southern side of that storm, showing some shear now. Yeah, absolutely. And we can uh, verify the, the shear in the atmosphere because even where we are east of Oklahoma City, we can see the anvil coming at us. So we're running right down the soft edge of the anvil back toward the storm to uh, deploy to, to catch the tornado coming toward us. So we're running um, between I-44 and I-40 on the east side of Oklahoma City. The W-band and the uh, phased array radar from the Navy are uh, just a little Nick and Kim. So Yeah, a lot of rain fade out there. We are losing the signal, unfortunately. But uh, they are obviously headed to deploy in this area and perhaps capture the data they, they need from this tornado live on the ground right now. Yeah, and you know, the one problem, these storms are moving so quickly. Hopefully they'll be able to get there with this. Um, we're going to take you now live out of Oklahoma City where, once again, an observation that they're taking at the National Weather Service office saying there is a tornado. They're seeing a tornado right now. Visually, I'm not seeing anything with the way that the angle of this um, image is. But again, there is one reported on the ground headed towards Oklahoma City. And you guys, you know what to do. You've been through this drill. Get to the lowest level of your home interior room. Stay away from the windows. Very ominous sky, though, very dark. And uh, if you're up in the northeastern part of Oak City, this eventually is going to be heading towards you. Tulsa, just a matter of time. You're under that new tornado watch until midnight central time. All right, as you can see, we're continuing. There, there's the new watch, by the way, uh, covering portions of eastern Kansas down into uh, uh, Oklahoma, portions of Arkansas, and up through Missouri as well as these thunderstorms continue to push off toward the northeast. And again, a particularly dangerous situation setting up for eastern Oklahoma. Look at this. All right, classic look of a supercell. We'll be right back after this. Local on the 8th. Here's our local Doppler radar. For tonight, rain showers early, becoming a steady light rain overnight. Low, 51. Winds east-southeast at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Chance of rain, 70%. And on Tuesday, windy with scattered thunderstorms. High, 79. Chance of rain, 60%. 
and Tuesday night. Late night thunderstorms. Low, 63. Chance of rain, 40%. Here's our seven-day outlook. Welcome back to PM Edition. As we continue to track tornadoes, we may actually have as many as three on the ground right now in separate thunderstorms. And two big cities, too. I mean, yeah. we're talking about Wichita and Oklahoma City. We're looking right now live at the sky here out of Oklahoma City, where we actually had a tornado reported on the ground in their observation. And in Wichita, a funnel cloud is being reported on the observation. Both cities under attack right now, so please Take cover immediately, get to the lowest level of your home interior room, and stay away from the windows. Good advice, and uh, you really need to heed that today and not venture outside to try to see these tornadoes. Um, you know, stay, stay in, we'll keep you warned of the tornadoes moving towards you right now. Now, uh, we're continuing to follow these on the radar as well as tornadoes uh, possibly within those thunderstorms coming into the Wichita area and into Oklahoma City. Uh, funnel cloud reported with that thunderstorm cell there in Wichita. All right, Jim Cantor, our storm tracker with us. And Jim, uh, it's pretty crazy out there, huh? Well, it is. And you know, the pictures you just showed there from uh, either that, I think that was aircraft taking that. I mean, it's just very, very hazy. It's going to be very, very difficult to see. Plus, guys, these are moving 50, 60 miles an hour. So they're humming right through. Let's get to it. Here's Wichita. Now, the signature is getting right over the top of the radar site. So it's going to look pathetic for a while until we can look at another radar site or until it gets off to the east. But believe me, we've already uh, taken note from some of the observations 13 miles southwest of Wichita. There's been a tornado near the Goddard area, plus Viola, Kansas, has had 80 mile per hour winds as measured by st spotters. So this is a dangerous storm. Wichita, take cover uh, immediately as this is coming right, to, right down the doorstep. Let's go down to Burden and Dexter here. This is the second cell. This is the one earlier that Mike was on in Bremen. This continues to head off to the north and east. Actually, this is the third one down. If you live near Burbank and Fairfax, uh, Burden and Dexter, I should say, keep an eye on this cell as it continues to pass off to the northeast. This one's come all the way from Vance Air Force Base across I-35, guys, and it's holding together. So these things are, uh, they got some longevity with them, even though the air, the farther northeast we go, is certainly less susceptible to sustain a uh, tornado. It's much more stable, but these things are holding together. It's actually bringing the warm, moist air with it. D farther down the road we go, again, this is north of Oklahoma City now, around the Ponca City area, around the Marlin. You can see we had a har large tornado near the Red Rock area. That continues to move east. So if you live in Schindler and Fairfax, and finally Oklahoma City. Down to the south, we have a tornado on the ground near Mustang. Be careful.